we're gonna talk about A major seven as a bar chord. But first what we should do is talk about the shapes that I'm gonna use in order to make A major seven as a bar chord. I'm gonna use an E major seven shape and an A major seven shape in order to make A major seven as a bar chord. So how do I do that? I'm gonna play uh, for E major seven shape, I'm gonna take my first finger and I'm gonna put it on the fourth string first fret then I'm gonna take my second finger and I'm gonna put it on the first fret, but on the third string. And then my third finger, I'm gonna put all the way up here on the fifth string, second fret. So it's a little, it's a little awkward, but that is the shape. E major seven, very jazzy sound, right? So now in order to make a bar chord out of that, I have to adjust my fingers so my first finger is free, right? So I'm just going to switch around my fingers a little bit right, and get my first finger free, All right, so look how I did that. All right, and now I'm gonna bring that shape all the way up to A, which again here is at the fifth fret, and so here you go, A major seven as a bar chord. Then you can also use the A form of that to make A major seven. So uh, this is the shape here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your first finger on the third string first fret, and then your second finger on the fourth string second fret, and then your ring finger is gonna go on the second string second fret. So A major seven, all right? Again, I'm just gonna switch that around so I have my first finger free. All right, so look how I did that. First like that, and then I just switch it around so this finger's free. Now in this case, we already have A major seven, but just to prove that it can be a bar chord, we're gonna go all the way to the 12th fret. That's where the guitar starts again. Make that shape. A major seven is a bar chord. 